diving into this, I'm going to go ahead and clip my hair. I don't always like wearing these little pieces because I feel like I look like an ogre. That's just me. I have some snacks with me today. I have these Lotus Flower Candies from Sugar Fina. So these are gummies, but they're lychee flavored. And if you haven't been to Sugar Fina, it's a pretty bougie candy store. It's like a normal candy store, except it's just a little bit more expensive. The best part about it is a lot of the times they end up importing it from other places. So this in specific is from Germany, which is pretty cool. I also made another little snacky and I put it in this little candy jar because I think it like just perfectly fit the aesthetic. I have cucumbers, lemon, and tajin. So these are my snackies today. Do I really need them? No. It was so cute. He literally surprised me like literally the best. Nothing makes me more happy than surprises and food and the surprise being food is like a bonus. So going off my first favorite beauty product, you already know. So as you guys know, in every single one of my videos, since I've done my huge Sephora haul from last year, my favorite, favorite face primer is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin C Enriched Base. This is my go-to. When it comes to the under eyes, my little tip is using the 24-hour extended eye base by MAC because, well, she just eats. She never misses, so. I know technically it's not made for you to use underneath your eye, but as I always say, makeup has multiple purposes. So I generally will grab about that much and I rub it underneath my eyes. I'm finally running out. So moving on to brows. When it comes to brow products, I'm very, very picky and specific. Lately, I've honestly just been loving Benefit. I think Benefit has always been that girl when it comes to brows. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3. Of course, I've purchased this about a thousand times. This is a 24-hour brow setter, again, by Benefit. I think the combo is just bomb, and you can't go wrong. Now, going in with a 24-hour brow setter when I'm happy with the way that my brows look. Her. <laughs> Moving on to concealers, I pretty much stick with the same concealers as I have like ever, mainly because I feel like every time I try a new concealer, I'm disappointed and quite frankly, I'm not going to be disappointed again. I am in love with the Prolong by MAC, the NC25 concealer. Now, the pro about this one is it does have a whole lot of coverage. The consistency is thin. It's really great for anybody that has really oily skin like myself because it gives off just such a clean effect. Like, just like that, you can honestly get the prettiest look. What's funny is the history and the story behind this concealer is I used to crease a lot when I went to my last MAC store, like my last and final store before I left the company. I remember my coworkers telling me, like, because I would use the Studio Fix Concealer, which ironically, right here, this little bad boy is some... Thing that I used to use and I have it as my beauty favorites because I did use it consistently. Um, Obviously, as my skin got worse with the cystic acne, it got really hard to build upon the coverage and it just wasn't giving me the finish that I wanted. So my skin type really changed over the time. And one of my coworkers was like, you need to use the Prolong. You have really oily skin, like you crease too much. Then I ended up moving to Prolong and I haven't gone back. Oh, another one of my favorite beauty beauty must-haves is the 240S brush by MAC. This one is so nice, fluffy, and dense. I'm able to just brush over my eyes and built upon the coverage, the overall look, and really just to give it that airbrush finish. So I have two favorite foundations at the moment. One of them I believe is discontinued. This is the Prolong Foundation. So this is the Prolong Foundation by MAC. I used to wear it in the shade NC30. So my second favorite foundation at the moment, this is the Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation again by MAC. It is a little darker, it is, and I think that's what I like about it. Consistency-wise, it is really different, but I think that's probably why I like it so much is because of being different. Um, you'll see what I mean right now. Now, I haven't seen like any sun lately this springtime, and I actually like to combine it. Now, before doing so, your girl, that will always be the girl, I like using the Fix Plus spray. I like setting this before I actually blend it. I think the color itself is pretty dark, like if you look like... This definitely looks like she's tan. Trust the process, it's more of a tint, and what I like to do is I combine it with a prolong. You'll see that it does oxidate. With this, I would honestly say work quickly. I actually got this in PR, so obviously it's oxidating. Now we have to balance it. The formula is a lot different. Now, in a studio fix, I wear an NC25. So this is an NC27 in a studio radiance. I think it just runs a little bit darker, and that's okay because we're gonna balance it out. Look at my hair getting stuck. I am actually going to be adding contour. Now, before you say anything, yes, I am looking very oxidated. Both of these foundations oxidate very quickly. They look very dark, but I promise you, it's also the lighting. 
Makeup by Mario is my absolute favorite contour. If you haven't tried it, you need to. This is the Shape Sculpting Makeup Stick in the shade Medium Dark. Obviously, I know I look very interesting as it is right now, so you're probably like, what is this girl doing? Trust it. Going in with my favorite blush. This is the cream. This is the Glow Play Blush by MAC. This is in the shade Cheeky Devil. I honestly love it because it's such a soft blush pink color. So picking up some product, applying that on top my contour. Moving on to the next thing, concealer. Now, generally, I would use the Prolong Concealer, and I do use it for my under eyes, but I wanted to show you my other favorite concealer, which is the Studio Fix Wear Concealer in the shade NW24. I think one of the bigger reasons why I love this concealer so much as well is because I'm able to build upon it. Go with my concealer brush. Now with this concealer, I will advise if you have really dry skin, go in with a little bit of a setting mist to help it blend better. Because once you let it sit there for too long, it does get a little patchy. Now after I added that, I'm going to add a little bit of the Pro Long, mainly because I love it so much. You can see that everything's starting to come together, even though I looked a little tan. It's starting to look more toned down. Once I've done that, I pretty much just take my little sponge and I will push in any product or anything that I see that I want to make sure that I have blended out because once we put the powder, we can't go back. Moving on to powder, as you guys know, the Studio Fix pressed powder is my absolute and for forever will be my favorite pressed powdered foundation. This is in the shade NC30. I tend to switch between NC30 and 35. Now, the Studio Fix does have, as you can see, she's had better days. She's broken. It does have a sponge underneath. This is the sponge. Again, have seen better days. It just goes to show how much I love it. I used to use a brush. I stopped, mainly because I didn't like the way that I would get the finish. I had another artist explain to me why some artists would use a brush to finish it. Mainly depending on what kind of finish you're looking for. If you're going for more of a fuller finish, you're going to use the sponge. Now, if you're going for more of a sheer base finish, you're going to use the brush. Mainly because it's almost more of a, it's more translucent in the sense that the bristles only pick up a little bit of the powder versus this sponge that's specifically made to pick up more of foundation. Because this is a type of foundation. Again, loose powder, translucent. I use the shade Brightening Lilac by Jaclyn Hill. So I've been using it as a plexiglass. That's why it has like concealer all over it. It's purple, like a light purple like so. Jaclyn Hill, I stopped by Morphe before they closed the stores down and I decided to buy one. Now making sure before I set my eyes, I don't have any creases. Now, because this is a brightening powder, I am going to mix it with my NC25 Studio Fix. My old coworker used to tell me that when it comes to powders, not to be shy, only because powders can't hurt you, only liquids could. So ever since then, I always make sure to really pack on my powders. But make sure you do use some sort of setting mist. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and combine it with the NC25 Studio Fix and put that over. Just layer it over where I put the lilac powder. Now this is going to help maintain the brightening but also prevent the creasing. So mixing a pressed powder that's closest to your concealer or your foundation shade is going to prevent it from getting flashback in photos. And you'll notice that we're going to be losing some of the pigment that we had placed previously. That is okay. It's normal. Now taking the Studio Fix Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This was in substitute of a sheer base press powder foundation. I use it as a bronzer. Now, although I don't use cream bronzer, I use a cream contour and layer it with a bronzer because I do feel it makes the most difference. I use the shade Dark Golden and I do feel like it brings back a little bit of that warm. Depending on what foundation and what look I'm going for, I am pretty light with how much I apply. Then going in with my two favorite powder blushes. This is the Kimchi Chic. This is in its shade. This is in the shade Taylor blush it is those soft pinky rose colors all the pigment blushes that i've had this is the best one by far as you can see we have a light pink and then we have a little bit of a deeper rose shade this by far is the best pink that i've had when it comes to blushes and i will layer this with the mac fairly precious extra dimension blush this is more peachy so to bring back a little color and life to me i'm going to go ahead and mix those two now, the pretty thing about the Extra Diminish, it, it, do, it does have a little bit of a highlight to a little bit of a shine. And one of the last products before I do my eyeshadow and I go off camera is the Dior Highlight. This is in the shade Glitz. Dior highlights and eyeshadows are probably my favorite. A beautiful, soft shine. It's not overpowering. It's not iridescent so much, but it's more of a pop. 
very soft pop like that in the tea now i'm not gonna spray i'm gonna go off camera and do my eyeshadow but before i do so i'm gonna show you my two favorite eyeshadows that i swear by the Dior eyeshadow. So this is in the shade Warm Neutrals. Love, love, love her. She's great for traveling. Next is the Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Crystal Reflection in the shade Court. Honestly, I swear by these. I don't know what it is. Chef's kiss. If you want to see me actually do this look and see my step-by-step -step for the eyeshadow, I suggest that you check out my shorts and go ahead and take this as an opportunity to subscribe to my channel. But I will be back. Okay, so I went off camera and I recorded this eyeshadow look. It is very, very simple. Nothing too crazy. Before I finish this video and I wrap it up, I'm going to show you my lip combo. Again, I recorded that. Um, if you guys haven't already, take this as an opportunity to subscribe and, of course, like this video. I have posted that on my actual shorts, so... Stay tuned for that. My current favorite lip combo, and I feel has just been giving really natural, giving juicy, giving summertime, is the Anna Colt. You know, I love lippies. I love lip liners. I love makeup in general. When it came to lip liners, I went experimenting one day, and I got the NYX lip liners. And honestly, NYX is really bomb in the sense that I didn't realize how creamy it was and how affordable. So absolute lip liner that I absolutely love and adore and have been obsessed with for a quick minute is the nude truffle well again the nyx lip liner it's a lip pencil i don't know if you can see the shade oh it's the color like i don't know what it is about this shade but i think it just complements my complexion in the sense that it's not overpowering but it's mauvey enough where it doesn't look saturated towards like an orangey finish it's just perfect and of course another makeup by mario product this is the makeup by mario lip plumping i believe it's like the lip plumping gloss no plumping lip serum in the shade nude glow it's a hit all around. Love these two. I have been obsessed with this lip combo. In specific, I'm wearing it right now. Like, it's very natural. I have a glow. It's not overpowering. And a lot of the times, that's something that I'm looking for. Yeah. With that... That is actually going to be it for my beauty favorite products or my just my beauty faves. I really hope that you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making it. Per usual, please take this as an opportunity to subscribe and follow all of my social media platforms at Madeline Rose Young. And if you search me up, you can find all of my other platforms as well. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for staying tuned and thank you for staying with me. I love all of you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your month, rest of your day, rest of your week. Bye!